So, you already read the title of this video. And this video is going to be called A Day in the Life of the Cameraman. Yeah, as you all know, I love to do filmmaking. I always wanted to do filmmaking on this channel. Even though that oftentimes on this channel I like to talk about movies, I also like to do filmmaking on this channel as well. I don't just like to talk about movies or TV shows and video games and comic books and everything about Marvel, DC, or Star Wars, or anime, etc. I mean, I love anime very, very much, and I do really want to do more anime reviews and talking a bit more about anime. Like, I do have for some upcoming videos, like, I have an upcoming video for Cowboy Bebop. Uh, for its 25th anniversary, although that video is going to take a little bit longer, mainly because of some editing scheduling issues that have been going around, and yeah, but I'm hoping to get that uh, sometime around uh, spring break, and yeah. But anyways, I don't just like to talk about movies, TV shows, comic books, video games, and anime. I also like to talk about filmmaking. I mean, I love filmmaking a lot, and you know, I've always wanted to do filmmaking for quite some time. Uh, I mean, I always wanted to do filmmaking, even as a kid. I mean, you've seen me doing a director's commentary on my first video, right? But anyways, yeah. So, the life as a cameraman. And I'm very excited to talk about this topic. So, anyways, yeah. So, without further ado, I guess we can just talk about this topic. Anyways, as you all know, I always wanted to become a filmmaker, and I thought that being a cameraman for this live thing that we were doing was actually kind of a good start for me to help improve my filmmaking skills. And I've started doing filmmaking when I was 11, and look at the films I have made so far. Anyways, going in there, I wanted to improve a bit more on my focusing camera skills, my cinematography, of course, for cameras. And looking at the films that what you've seen that I've shown, yeah, my films definitely do need some work, and especially with the ones that were made back during COVID-19, and yeah. And keep in mind, I very had limited to other things and this was back before I got this camera and I had like an old HD camera that I got for my 14th birthday and yeah 
uh, I used to have that camera and I used that for one of my old videos and that accidentally broke and I got this camera from my mom, my dad, my grandpa and my grandmother and I gotta say I thank them for giving me this new camera, this new 4K Sony camcorder that I have which yeah it's overall pretty cool but anyways these cameras that I used for the live uh, to help set up they were really hard for me to uh, work really hard to work really hard on mainly because of how they are set up this is not like the tripod that I have here right now because um, the tripod has like three uh, different types of legs it looked more like something like uh, it, it looked a bit more different of a bigger higher of a bigger tripod since this tripod is a little bit small but this tripod is big it has like three legs each and yeah it was really hard for me to set it up but luckily I got some help from the camera crew and from the film crew and basically yeah it was also fun talking and interacting with the film crew as well and I just overall just yeah and I was really enthusiastic about uh, working on this uh, film set and everything like that ba basically yeah I was just pretty excited and just wanting to improve my filming skills my cinematography skills and basically yeah and I also noticed about these cameras is that these cameras look a bit more like movie cameras they are not like the cameras I've used back in high school they are not like um, the HD type cameras that I the camera that I used for my plush videos back then and the cameras I've used from my old videos on YouTube and basically yeah <sighs> yeah the cameras were extremely extremely heavy but one of the hardest parts I had was what is with the lighting the lighting box that they would often use for movies or sometimes for TV networks yeah those were really really hard to set up mainly because you have to yell the word striking and which uh, you have to have this button you got to turn it on then it says striking and well you got to say striking but uh, you turn it on and the light will flash and um, sometimes it could be extremely extremely bright and you know you gotta sometimes cover your eyes or you sometimes gotta wear glasses or you have to like use one of these uh one of those uh protecting things um no wait you gotta use one of the protector lights you know in order to make sure that the lights are uh not so bright at all and uh that actually worked for the most part but the only problem that we have for that was with the masking tape and everything like that and basically yeah and then we get to the fun part where we record live and recording live was actually really, really fun. Cause we have all those things that are yours Everything needs to know 